Hey everybody, it's Brian from iSpring, and today I'm going to show you how to add supplementary materials to your online course. The eternal struggle of the teacher is to present a bulk of information without overwhelming the learner. In an online course, you may want to provide extra materials separately without breaking the narrative flow of the course. So put the key points on the slide and give easy access to extra info on the side. The iSpring course player has a handy little resources menu right up here for exactly that purpose. Hyperlinks will take the user to the web page you specify, and you can even attach files right to the course that the user can download just by clicking on them. Let's hop over here to the presentation resources and see how to add stuff. First, I'm going to add a hyperlink right here. I'll just give it a title, then enter the URL. And it's as simple as that. Now I'll pop a PDF attachment right here, and I just gotta click the file. Before we close out of here, you might wanna check out your hyperlink settings. This menu will let you choose whether external links will open in the same window, open a new window, the parent window, or the top window. Okay, now let's get out of here and go up to the player settings. Here you'll see an interactive preview of your course in the player window. To enable access to the resources button, you should make sure the top bar is enabled and you can see exactly how the menu will appear to your learners after publishing. This is a great way to add all kinds of extra content to your online courses, whether it's files, documents, or web resources. Thanks for watching.